Hey guys, uh, Tony Porter, Dice Tabletop Baseball, and uh, today we're going to look at a Fall Classic card and interpret it. You're rolling uh, 2d6 on this, and um, you're going to have either the result on the batter card or the result on the pitcher card. So uh, we're looking at uh, pretty much a 50-50 uh, situation. So, and, and if you're an APA uh, follower, you know, fan, um, then you'll probably gravitate to this game. Now, if you're a Stratomatic fan, there's also um, uh, elements that will, uh, you know, uh, remind you of that game as well, in that you're using the batter and the pitcher card in your bats. Uh, it's not just a kind of one-dimensional approach to where you're just using the batter card and then the pitcher card has an effect, but on the charts like an APA. So in this case, there is an interaction between the uh, batter and the pitcher. Let's start off and look at Ted Williams. He is a slow runner. And slow doesn't mean he's slow. It, uh, slow basically is has to do with the run scored or based on, you know, his hitting and so forth. Um, it has to do with his base advancement. It has to do with several things. Um, he's also on the left side, you see the BL, and that is he bats lefty. So he's a lefty hitter, Ted Williams. He played on the 1954 Boston Red Sox. And 35, not totally sure what that means. I never looked at that. All right, so I have the issue of the, the light dimming here. All right, so we're rolling dice, and we roll a red and a white die, and we read the red first, and it's a 66, and that's gone. We roll a 55, 1 to 7, it's a home run. On an 8, 4-4, four, four, or 3-5, or 2-6, it's going to be a triple, and then, of course, a double, right? Everything else, uh, 9 to 20, is going to be a double. 44 is a single, 33s are singles, 22 is a double, 1 to 9, and a walk, so that's an interesting choice. Now, I guess they mixed it up a little bit. Uh, normally, you'll see that double 1 to 9 on 44. And, but uh, since there's a walk there, I guess they wanted to... I'm not sure. That's kind of strange because... Um, I, I guess it's because the walks follow it. Ted Williams did walk a lot. He had 136 walks and 400 at-bats. So, uh, well, plate appearances are probably 140 more, so that's 520. So about 520, he walked, uh, 520 plate appearances, he walked 136 times. And uh, he's going to have walks from 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, just like you'd read it off APA. And, uh, and then, of course, on 21, it's going to be 1 to 10. Okay, so, uh, and then, of course, 11 to um 20, you're going to have out an out, and the out comes from um, the uh, the D20 roll. So you're rolling two, six, uh, two D6 and one D20. And uh, if you look at my videos, uh, you'll find the chart and how to read the chart, and I may do a new video on that. So 23, uh, you're going to have an out, double play. And uh, you can play that. There's no problem uh, playing that uh, outs, some fly balls, outs, on ground balls. If it's a lefty hitter, it's a 4-6-3. If it's a righty hitter, it's a 6-4-3. You can do that on that uh, result. Um, hit by pitch on a 1. So he did not. He did, Everything else will be an out. So 2 to 20 will be an out. So 24 and 25 will be outs. 26... Uh, Ted Williams had a better batting average versus right-handers, so he will get a single versus a right-hander on a left-hander. It's an out. Now, from 31 to 45, it's blank, and that tells you C pitcher. So they didn't write C pitcher on there, uh, which I think would have helped people maybe. Um, instead, they wrote just, you know, they left it blank. And I know people have issues with blank um, results, um, and they say, why is it blank? Why can't it say something, you know? So anyway, 46 is the ballpark card. You do get a ballpark card with Fall Classic Baseball. Now, we're going to 51 to 54. 
54 is like unusual plays. Well, mostly it's wild pitches past balls. Mostly it's wild pitches, but you do get a lot of singles and plus error or uh, different uh, types of results there on 54. 51, 52, and 53 are KD defense results. A KD, every pitcher, and you'll see that when I go over the pitcher card, I'll explain that, but this is a defensive result. So you're going to check and see, you're going to check errors. If you get the, the fast action card, and I'll teach you how to read that, uh, it's right there, and it'll, you'll read 51. It'll say error shortstop. And you just look at your D20, and if it falls within the error range, and at the bottom of this uh, card, I'll explain that to you. Um, so 51, 52, and 53 are going to be different types of errors. Uh, actually, 53 is a range plus, sometimes plus error. So it's a range check, and that's the nice thing about this card. Think of an APA Strat Advanced that's very, very simple. So you have the advanced elements of APA and Strat without uh, co any complications. Uh, and I already mentioned 54. I started with 54. I jumped to, to 54. 56 is going to be look at the pitcher card. 61 is an automatic out, so you don't even have to look at the pitcher card now. You're just going to look at the D20 that you rolled. And there's a chart that you can easily memorize. It's super easy. Like a 7 is a fly out to left. An 8 is a fly out to center. A 9 is a fly out to right. That's how simple it is on the D20. Then 62 to 64, you're checking the pitcher card. Now 65, so a lot of questions, you know, a lot of, uh, normally I'll say, well, how about pitchers who gave up a lot of home runs? Well, there it is, 65. You'll look on the pitcher card, and if that pitcher gave up a lot of home runs, it's probably going to be a home run. Now, uh, if the pitcher gave up very few home runs, it'll probably be a fly out or a ground out or whatever out the D20 will tell you. Okay, so that's it. That's how simple a batter card, reading a batter card is, and the pitcher card is no more difficult, and we'll do the pitcher card in another video. Let's just look at the aspects, uh, some of the interesting aspects of this game. You see all the stats there, the on-base percentage, the uh, uh, out, um, oh, on-base plus slugging percentage. I mean, he's out, out, you know, out of the park with that. Uh, in outer space with that. He was a tremendous hitter. He played in only 117 games, so he missed, what, about uh, 40, would be 160. He missed about 35 games, and that's approximately 100 at-bats, so he would have been around 500 at-bats, plus he would have had 136 walks, maybe even more. Well, with another 100 uh, at-bats, uh, he sure would have had more walks. So... Uh, um, anyway, uh, let's look at, he only played one position, and that's left field. His range is 11, and that's when you roll 53, you'll check that 11, and it's on the same D20. If it's below the 11, he catches the ball. If it's above the 11, now we're looking at the range at the, on the left field at the bottom of the card. You got range, arm, and error. The arm rating is an A2, so, uh, an A uh, sometimes you'll use the A, sometimes you'll use the 2, and the, the instructions will tell you, the result will tell you. Check the assist rating of the batter uh, or, or uh, against an A um, arm, the batter, the runner can advance. If it's you're looking at just the assist result, then you're looking at the 2, and that will be uh, on a D6, a 1, or a 2. Uh, he throws out the runner, and on a 3, 4, 5, or 6, the runner is safe. So those are really two separate ratings kind of pushed together there. And the, the, the game itself will tell you when to use the first one, the letter. There's only three letters. Uh, there's strong arm, average arm, and weak arm. And then there's six numbers. Uh, and that will give you a difference between um, holding, uh, keeping runners at a base, preventing them from advancing, or also throwing out. So... Williams did not throw out a lot of batters because he's at a two. So uh, on a three to a six, the batter will be safe. Had he been a guy that had 17 or 20 or 25 assists from the outfield, he would probably be a six. He would be an A6, an, an a six, but not necessarily an, S, an S6 or an S2 here. He's not an S because... He did not uh, prevent a lot of runners from advancing. They ran on his arm. Okay. Um, finally, the error rating is four. It's pretty low for the outfielders, and um, and this is just the nature of the beast. 
uh, you you know outfielders have fewer chances and they're going to make fewer errors, and uh, and that's a four. So you have three different elements here, three different ratings. Well, actually, really it's four different ratings. You have the range, you have the assist, you have the um, uh, the arm strength, which is A, and then the assist, which is two, and then finally you have the error rating, and it's all in the same row. You identify, you you kind of re resolve those in the same row. And at the bottom of the card, of course, you have the stats of the player. So that is the batter card for Fall Classic Baseball. Thanks for watching. Please uh, stay tuned for my other videos. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.